Isaiah 8 and 13. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself and let him be your fear and let him be your dread. Barakate Hawa, Barakate Awashai, Barakate Hawa, Barakate Awashai. All praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Awashai, Bashim Akakodash. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the Lashuan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. And blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and poverty how by Shemal Shai. Um, and the title of this lesson will be The Proper Fear to Have. Okay, the proper fear to have. <clears throat> All right, of course, we know the proper fear to have is the fear of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right, not the fear of these times, not the fear of Esau Edom, uh, the so called white man. All right, that's not what we're to fear. We're to fear Yahweh by Shemal Shai and the trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shai in these times. Okay, scripture popped in my brain right now, real quick. Uh, what is it? Second Thessalonians 2. This is Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. It says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by the letter as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Right? So we're not to fear these, these, um, these perilous times ahead. All right, we have to believe and trust that Yahweh Bashimah Shai is with us. Okay, the, it's not time for us to fear. It's time for Esau even to fear. It's time for the wicked to fear. Okay, not the servants of Yahweh Bashimah Shai. All right, because we fear the one that's bringing it all. Okay, we fear Yahweh Bashimah Shai. Okay, and the Lord told us. Um, let me get it real quick. I didn't want to start with these scriptures, but hey, these scriptures are popping in my mind. Proverbs one and thirty three. It says, "Whoso hearkeneth unto me." shall dwell safely right so we fear the lord and that fear uh moved us to hearken unto the lord but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil so since we fear the lord and we hearken unto his word we don't need to we don't need to fear evil which evil breaks down to a bad time all right which the lord told us he will keep us from all right so we fear we don't have, we don't need to fear these times we don't need to fear esau edom all right, we have the proper fear. This is uh, Sirach 1 and 8. It says, There is one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. Okay, and that's one thing that, uh, you know, our people uh, don't carry within themselves is the fear of Yahweh by Shemab Shai. You know, they once had it, but for the most part now, you know, our people are not concerned with the Lord and what he wants and the future and what you know what the lord has us uh giving warning to our warning of our people could care less but that's on them all right and that's the main thing that the, that the lord has a problem with is that our people don't fear him okay our people don't fear yahweh by shemel shai which they're going to learn it the scriptures say uh they should know it after death by pain right it says uh jeremiah 5 and 20 it says declare this in the house of jacob and publish it in the in judah saying hear now this O foolish people speaking to you so-called negroes latinos and native americans all right you're going about your life foolishly in these times hear now this O foolish people and without understanding which have eyes and see not which have ears and hear not fear ye not me saith the lord will you not tremble at my presence which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? Right, so the Lord is saying, you don't fear me? The one that's keeping the, the ocean at bay? <laughs> the one that's keeping the, 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 the ocean, all that water from overflowing into the land? That's a statement of power. You see? But our people don't, they don't fear, they don't fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And that's one thing they're going to learn. Okay? That's one thing that, that's one thing that we had to learn is the fear of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Which, we, you know, we always had it. The scriptures say it was created with the faithful in the womb, Lord's war of the elect. But we always had that, 
you know, well, I can speak for myself. I've always, you know, believed in the Lord, always, you know, um, was mindful that there is a God, you know. But, uh, right, so the Lord's going to show you that he, that he needs to be feared, okay? And that's one of the main things that he's pleased with. <clears throat> Um, Psalms 147 and 11 it says the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him okay so the Lord is pleased with those that fear him and those that hope in his mercy and that's what it is that's exactly what it is you know we fear you how about your shy and we're hoping in his mercy and the Lord takes pleasure in that okay the Lord is, is, is pleased with that he's dealing with that that's someone he could work with if you fear him all right which go you know reverence in the Lord because the scriptures say uh, for a wife to reverence her husband right which reverence goes back to fear are we not the Lord's woman so we're to reverence uh, the Lord right we're, we're to fear the Lord all right and, and the Lord is uh, pleased with those that hope in His mercy because at the end of the day that's all that's all we could really hope in like you have the parable of the importunate widow right I mean not the importunate widow you have the Pharisee and the um the publican, all right. The Pharisee was boasting in, in all his works and all, all his actions, and and, and um, the publican, he, he he didn't even lift up his face. All he asked was for mercy, acknowledging that he was a sinner. Okay, and that's that's pretty much all we ask for is you know mercy. But how about Shmuel try to have mercy on us in these times, man? Because without the mercy of the Lord, it's a wrap. Okay, and that's what these times. Uh, that's that that final test is gonna is gonna see who fears the Lord and who fears Esau Edom. <clears throat> like we like we can see with our grateful father Abraham. This is Genesis twenty two. Now this is going into when the Lord uh, tried uh, Abraham. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read verse one and then jump down. Genesis twenty two and one it says, and it came to pass after these things that the heavenly Father did tempt Abraham. And said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here am I. So the Lord tempted him, all right, which we know, you know, dealing with Isaac, sacrificed his son Isaac, as you can see up here, the offering of Isaac. Um, but the point is, we're going to read it. This is uh, Genesis 22 uh, and 9. It says, And they came to place to the place which the Most High had told him, told him of and Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in, in the order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son so he was going to carry out the the, the, the commands of Yahweh Bashem al Shai alright he didn't put his his emotions and feelings before the Lord but the Lord wanted it says, and the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And he said, lay not thine hand upon this lad, upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. You see, so the whole tempt or the whole test was what? To see if he truly feared Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Okay, and that's ultimately what's going to come down to in these last days. Why, why didn't um, why didn't Daniel, um, why did Daniel continue to pray to the to, to the heavenly Father, although it, he was commanded not to by the king? All right, because he feared Yahweh by Shema Why didn't they, Why didn't the three wise, uh, the three holy children, why didn't they uh, bow down to that statue? Because they feared Yahweh by Shema Okay, so it's the same with us. We're not going to take that mark because what? We fear you how about Shema Shai. Okay, so that's all. That's what it's all about, having that proper fear. All right, not the fear of Esau and Edom and what he has planned to do or what he thinks he's going to do. He can only do what the Lord allows him to do. And that's something that we understand. Okay? 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it says, For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear. Right, with the spirit of Yahweh Bashem al Shai comes the spirit of boldness, the spirit of righteousness. Okay? For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let's see what the NLT says. It says, For the Most High have not given us a spirit of fear and of timidity, 
timid to ditty, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So that's the spirit that we have. We're not, we're not in the spirit of fear. Fuck Esau and Edom. And I got to say it that way. Fuck this man and what he think he got his plan, man. Straight up. All right? Our power is stronger than him. Of course, you know, that goes without saying. All right? So we're not to use... We're not to... Uh, Put energy towards oh we're, you know this happened that happened nah man put your energy towards faith all right exhibit the faith okay in these coming times in these trying times you know knowing it's half the battle we know it's a test these people out here they don't know what the hell's going on all right but the Lord has blessed us He has given us that spiritual insight on what's to come man not only the evil but the good too all right we we expecting how it's trying to come. Okay. This is Luke 12 and 4. It says, And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that have no more that they can do. Right? Esau can only touch your body, man. Esau, Edom can only touch your body. You know, like people say in this world, they go, they could trap your body but not your soul. <clears throat> they can only touch your body, man. All right. And the scriptures say, or the Lord said that he would not put none on us that we can't bear. But with the temptation, he'll make a way for us to escape. So whatever we, we going through, the Lord will give us a spirit for it, right? It says, and I say unto, unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. <laughs> right? I will forewarn you whom, whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he have killed have power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him. Okay? So we're to fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. The scriptures say the whole duty of man is, is to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. Okay? We're not to fear Esau, Edom, or none of these these uh, other nations, and none, none of the wicked. All right? Esau, Edom is a creation. And who's 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 uh, swinging that sword? Yahweh by Shema Shai. So we're going to fear the one. We're not going to fear the sword. We're going to fear the one that's swinging the sword. All right, put it to you like that. So let me, let me read it again. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, that have no more that they can do, right? Because once you once you pass from this flesh, who cares what, what they do with your body, right? <clears throat> but I, I forewarn you, whom you shall fear, fear him which have, which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him, right? The Lord... After you uh, pass from this flesh, who you gonna see? You gonna see Yahweh by Shema Shai. So you better fear him, and you know whether you in his flesh or not. Let me see. Uh, let me see uh, real quick. It popped in my brain. Um, Second Maccabees six dealing with the aged man Eleazar, because uh, he made a solid point. Here we go. Second Maccabees six and twenty five. It says, and so they, through, uh, let me. See. Well, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. But if you wanna, you know, you could read it. It's a good chapter to read. It says for a, uh, twenty five. And so they they through mine hypocrisy and desire to live a little time, and a moment longer should be deceived by me. And I get a stain to my old age and make it abominable, right? Because they wanted to feed him pork. And then they wanted him to act like he ate it so the others could be influenced to do it. And he's like, nah, I'm not going to stain my reputation for you. For though, here's the point. For though, for the present time, I should be delivered from the punishment of men, right? All the threats of men. Yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead, right? There's no escaping how by Shemel shot. Okay, whether you in this flesh or in the spirit world, whether you alive or dead, you got to deal with your how about Shemel Shai and the decisions that you made in this flesh, man. You know, so we got to fear your how about Shemel Shai, not Esau Edom. All right, which is the proper fear. That's the proper fear. <clears throat> this is uh, Psalms 118. And six, it says, the Lord is on my side. I would not fear, right? The Lord told us not, be not afraid, neither doubt. The Lord is on my side. I would not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. 
Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. You see? So we trust in Yahweh Bashmel. Shai, we're not putting our trust in this fucking Edomite. In this fallen, failing ass society. Fuck this goddamn place, man. All right, the Lord's coming to crush this goddamn place. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to end it here. This is uh, Psalms 146. And I'm going to start at the top. It says, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashmel Shai. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my power while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. Right? There is no help in this freaking Edomite, man. So there's no point of even yielding to what the hell he wants, man. When he pushes that mark, fuck you in that mark. It says his breath goeth forth. He returneth to the to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Right? He's just a man. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, his power, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that there is therein, which keepeth the truth forever. Right? So happy is he that hath the God of Jacob, Yahweh Shemel Shai, for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord is power. So that's that's our hope. Alright? That's our hope and our help. Yahweh by Shema So that's that's who we fear. That's who we need to fear in these times, man. And no need to fear Esau Edom. Alright? So the proper fear to have is the fear of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Lord's voice edifying, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shema Shai by Shema Kakodash. Until next time, Shalom.